On December 13th, 2018, Megan, our sanctuary manager, and Tori, our animal manager at the time, undertook the grand task of spending 24 hours inside of an intro enclosure, which was attached to Goliath Troop. They did this in order to raise money for a new enclosure for the blind monkeys. The following is a true account of what occurred. So about 20 minutes in. This is gonna be a long 24 hours. Megan's already sick of me singing to her. It's all stuffed monkeys with me. The monkeys would do that. <laughs> We're just over three hours in. What? The novelty's starting oh. to wear off. How's it feeling, Tori? <laughs> I don't remember what it's like to walk. We've been given the last of our food for the night. So it's looking like we're gonna have about 16 lentils and lots of bananas and raw sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> so hungry. Her, um, her bowl is disgusting. <laughs> and we have one more banana if we really want dessert. <laughs> Just bring a stick. Got a bunch of monkeys back there, like Halo. It's about what, hour seven? Mm. Hour eight. Hour eleven. Hour two thousand. <laughs> We're not even halfway there yet. We're getting ready for bed. And at what six do we do? <laughs> See you later. Bye. 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 What time is it? It's about eight. It's like, good morning. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. It's finished. We, we have two more minutes. No, we're going now. Yeah, we're about done. What have we learned from this experience? That Hartley has very cute babies. And never to do it again. Bye! Their suffering and their time was well spent because they were able to raise all of the money that they needed to build a new enclosure for the blind monkeys. As you can see, the blind's enclosure was getting old, and with all the new arrivals, including Lilo, the monkeys needed a bigger and better enclosure. So as you can hear, there's a lot of sounds, there's a lot of foot traffic around these enclosures, there's always people coming and going, this is like a main pathway for people to walk to get to places, there's always a lot of commotion over at Main Feed. So part of the other idea, not just the, the uh, need for bigger enclosures for the amount of monkeys, but also the fact that we want to provide a more quiet, um, calm environment for the blinds because they can get stressed out pretty easily since they can't see what's going on, they just hear all these sounds around them. So we're going to take a walk over to the blind's new enclosure from the old enclosure. So I'm walking along the fence line of uh, Anglekey Troop on this side, and then it's Gizmo Troop over on this side. So this is the brand new enclosure that everybody's working on right now. Um, and then off to the right over here is a monkey named Mapame's enclosure. Uh, Mapame is currently in um, sick bay, and so her enclosure is empty. But the plan, uh, despite the fact that she's currently in sick bay, is to move her to uh, an enclosure that's just down the way, that way. So both of these, I'll show you, are up against the fence, same as the other blinds enclosure. Uh, that's the way that all of the intro enclosures are set up. Um, and the reason for that is so that the monkeys can have interactions with the troops. Um, which is, you know, good for them to be able to groom through and to have little fights and squabbles and whatever they need to. But yeah, so obviously right here um, is the electric fence behind me. And then this is the enclosure itself. This enclosure is going to stay like it is because you can see there's so many trees already growing from the ground. So the idea is that hopefully the monkeys can have natural trees so that they can eat the foliage and that the trees can just keep growing and stuff, which would be really cool for them. A few months ago, we received another blind orphan. She was about six or seven months old and her name is Lilo. She was found blindly wandering around the Polokwane soccer stadium all by herself, covered in ticks with a puncture wound at the base of her tail. A worker caught her and took her to the vet and the vet called Dave. Lilo was brought to the Vervet Monkey Foundation and she was kept in sickbay while the new blinds enclosure was being built. 
Periodically, Lilo is brought over to the blind's enclosure to meet Shasta and Sybil through the fence. But for the most part, Shasta had Belle and wasn't very interested in another baby, and Sybil, well, Sybil's blind. So, how do you get a blind monkey to realize there's another blind monkey that she needs to meet? Mm, you don't. Got a baby. You'll love the taste. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You gotta touch the floor. I know it's lava, but come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Not that far. Yeah. Come on, darling. I want to meet this baby. To help with the integration and give Lilo a friend, Cuddy was moved in with Lilo. Lilo loved it and Cuddy loved it too, but Cuddy loved it for a different reason, mostly because it was like a private vacation with all the food that she could eat. It wasn't too long before the new enclosures were almost complete. This is the airlock going into the new enclosure. Um, so this is the one that's on the far right uh, if you're facing Engelke Troop fence and <clears throat> As you can see the floor is cemented and it's at a slope So that if when it rains or if you need to clean it, it'll all just run out over there, which is pretty cool and then uh, As you can see here this thing is a little tunnel to allow them to go from this enclosure over to this enclosure, which is Mapame's old enclosure, this one here. Uh, and then this thing just has this little sliding door, um, which is stuck on the metal. And yeah, with that, you open it up, and then the monkeys can go through. Pretty cool, <clears throat> if it doesn't get stuck. This is the old enclosure that had the monkey in it. So it's between the new one with the cement on the right, and the old one with no cement, or not the old one, but the other new one with no cement. Uh, and then of course you get the shade netting up against the electric fence so that the monkeys can't climb up and accidentally shock themselves. Um, access through the fence so they can still groom. I'm assuming there's probably gonna be chicken wire put up around here and there'll probably be like some shade netting and stuff just to protect Belle and uh, Lilo and Cuddy from the bandits. Um, and fights and things like that within the troop. They don't want to like get grabbed because they can't see, they don't know what's going on, scares them, things like that, uh, just to stop fights and stuff. So there'll probably be more shade netting, more um, chicken wire going around everything to uh, make it safer. But yeah, nice big new enclosure for the blind. This is the old blinds enclosure. Blinds enclosure blinds. This is the old blinds enclosure and Sybil and Shanti Ray are still staying inside there. But the others have moved out of the old enclosure. I can't talk today, oh my gosh. The others have moved out of their other enclosure, the old enclosure, this enclosure behind me. They're out of that enclosure enclosure. And now they're going into the new enclosure. They've already gone into the new enclosure and now they're in the new enclosure, which is very exciting news. Super cool, happy blind monkeys. Belle, Shasta uh, have moved with JB into the like big open area enclosure of their new enclosures, and then Cuddy and Lilo have moved into the cement floor enclosure right here. And look, there's a little Cuddy and Lilo. Best of friends, Lilo's on the left, Cuddy's on the right. Lilo's super used to humans because she's been in sick bay for so long and had everything given to her by hand. So there's that. <laughs> and she's also the most adorable. I know that'll make some of you angry who love Belle so much, but look at that cute little face. She's just a nugget. And then there's Cuddykins back here. Now they're best buds and it's awesome because Cuddy's climbing all over the place and she's like up on these perches slipping around and stuff and she can barely turn and barely climb, but she's still doing it, which she never did in the old enclosure. So it's really cool. And she's hanging out with Lilo all the time, which she never did with Belle or Shasta. So it's just like, oh, it's perfect. You couldn't ask for anything better right now. Here's Belle and Shasta. They're just loving it in here. Check Belle out.
Yep. There she is. <laughs> See? Being a good mom. Very protective of her baby Bill. So they've got this huge open space. You see, I mean, that's a big enclosure for them, which is awesome. There's JB up there. Just is not impressed by the filming. I wouldn't be either if I was a monkey. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for confirming exactly what I just said. Ah, these monkeys, they don't have two brains between them. They just repeat what you say, or they agree with you about everything. It's like they don't even think for themselves sometimes. It's ridiculous. JB chatting it up. It's already memorized. The whole enclosure gets around like a pro. Yes, that is Belle suckling on Shasta's teat. No, Shasta is not producing milk that we know of, but Belle sure still likes to suckle. For now, Sybil and Shanti Ray will remain in the old blinds enclosure, simply because there's just too much work going on and not enough people to help out. So they're going to have to wait a little while, but as soon as things wind down and there's more people around, those two monkeys will be moved over to join the other blinds in the new enclosure. That was a very happy ending for the blind monkeys. Not that their lives are over, it's not an ending, but it's a, a bookmark. It's a, it's a footnote, it's a end of the chapter for chapter one of the old enclosures, chapter two of the new enclosures. It's fantastic. You couldn't ask for a better situation for all of these dudes. I just can't wait to see Cuddy and Lilo get to meet the other ones, and then when uh, Sybil gets to move over with Shanti Ray, that's going to be just like the icing on the cake, because then it'll all be over. and. They'll all be over here, and then who knows what'll happen to the old enclosures. Probably be used for introductions or something, or pulling in sick monkeys from Angle Key whenever need be. But yeah, good job, Megan. Good job, Tori. Good job, everyone that built this thing. Just well done. <laughs>